There comes Salter. Salter's going to work to the bottom side. He's trying to pad his position. <coughs> them top three ain't got no pressure behind them, but it could get there in a hurry. Calhoun's going to push up the racetrack. Here comes Phil Salter down the bottom. He's going to grab that second spot away. Calhoun's going to work to the top. Lawrence pulling away. Calhoun struggling. Calhoun may be in trouble here. Swims has gained a lot of ground right there as he loves to take that final transfer away from somebody. Either Salter or Calhoun just had some smoke. Looks like that may, that may be coming from the Calhoun car. He may have a tire rub. Caution's out. We had a spinner turn four. That's going to be Redman. Jimmy Redman getting turned looped around here in turn four. Is they're working to get the line up situated here. Well, Brad Calhoun, he's got some smoke coming underneath that race car. As the 10, or the, excuse me, the 99 of Nick Lawrence had a pretty good advantage over the top, the second and third spot. He was safe. We've got four laps to settle this thing. Let's see if Brian Calhoun can hang on to it for four more laps. And then they can diagnose what the problem is on that race car. But I'm sure he wants to put that race car in the show first. Punch his ticket tomorrow night. As that caution lights out, we're going to go green out of turn four. As Nick Lawrence is going to lead us, we're back in the way. Calhoun firing real well, but here comes Williams to the outside. He's going to take that third spot away from him, maybe. They're going to make a little contact. Here comes Swims. Here comes Mahoney to the bottom. He's going to grab that spot away from Calhoun as well. Calhoun's in some bad territory right now. He's like blood in the water as they are pouncing on him. But meanwhile, up front, Philip Salter's working on Nick Lawrence. Salter to the outside. He's going to look to the outside and turn one. Some smoke out of the Salter machine. He's going to pull right to the back bumper. Meanwhile, Swim's back there in third. He separated himself. He's comfortable. But this free, this lead spot is under attack. We've got a battle for it. White flag in the air. Can Philip Salter pick up that heat race win? Don't look now. Calhoun may get that last and final transfer spot. He's going to shift it to the outside. He's going to try to get it right off the front straight away. Give that spot to Calhoun. What a battle. Wow. What another. Uh oh. And Calhoun may have just grenaded. That motor jet may have just went. Wow. What another exciting race. Nick Davis picking up the win. Philip Salter into the show. And, well, we'll have to find out what the officials say about Brad Calhoun. Otherwise, it may go to the 9S of Kevin Swims if he's not able to take. Wow. All right. We've got another one. Heat race number four. And this here, here's how we're going to line up heat race number, no, it's heat race number five, sorry. We've had so much fun, I've done lost count on the heat races. <laughs> All right. Heat race number four at 5X on the pole. 
Out of pop for a bluff. This is going to be Zach Dobbs. He is outside the 10 of William Lawrence out of, out of Arkansas. Row two, the zero, Eric Perry out of Ward, Arkansas. And he is outside. Your points leader, Cody Robinson out of Mountain View. Row three, the 21B of Destiny Brooks out of Hatesville. And he is out, her outside. It's going to be the one of Randy Weaver out of Little Rock. Row four and the five is going to be Darren Brixey out of Casa, Arkansas. He is outside the... ADC of Rusty Clark out of Mountain View. But they're going to run a little bit through that fluid that Brad Calhoun laid down. Tough break for Brad. All right, the caution light's going to go out. We're going racing next time. Bye. Yeah, we got somebody running down there on the bottom of one and two. All right, here we go. Dobbs, Lawrence. And we are underway. Good start for Dobbs. He's wanting to make that trip down here from Missouri worth it. He's wanting to put that thing to show, but they're three, almost four wide back there behind them between Roberts, Brooks, Lawrence, and Weaver. Oh, we got trouble around here off of four. Your leader. As Dobbs spun it out right there in front of the field. Looks like the one, maybe. Or no, that's going to be the zero, sorry. A parry going to make contact with him. Heavy front end damage on the parry machine. Perry's going to keep it out there. Now Dobbs is going to try to get that thing pointed back in the right direction. One lap scored. It's Cody Robertson, your leader. <clears throat> Destiny Brooks, second. William Lawrence, third. Randy Weaver on the outside looking in. Then it'll be the 5X, oh, no, excuse me, the 5 of Darren Brixey. No, that's the 1 of Randy Weaver, sorry. My eyes aren't very good, but I can sort of make out numbers. <laughs> They're going to work on the parry machine. Got that nose popped back down. Got it back in place. He's ready to roll. Didn't even need duct tape. Uh-oh. That nose folded up that time. May need something. May need a ribbon or two. I'd hate for that thing to fold underneath those tires, man. That'd be one wild ride. So hopefully they can rip that away. car wouldn't have any control if that thing was to fold underneath the tires. As soon as we conclude the uh, heat race and action for the Arkansas factory stops, we'll start with our hobby stops tonight. We'll see if we can't pick up a new winner or will somebody add to their count? All right, caution lights out.
Can Cody Robertson hang on to it? I talked to him there Wednesday night on the show. He said he had this as a bucket list item to come down here and win a championship, but that $5,000 would be oh so much more worth it. There he comes. We're back in the way. Good start for Brooks. Good start for Weaver. Weaver starting to pressure Destiny Brooks down the back straightaway. He's going to look to the bottom. Brooks around the top. Almost made contact. Brooks is going to get out of there for that second spot. Push Weaver back to third. They're starting to stretch away from that fourth spot of William Lawrence. Destiny Brooks going to show some little displeasure to Weaver. Maybe something she didn't like about how that pass was made. But they continue to pull away from that fourth spot of William Lawrence to secure their spot in the show. And Perry's slowing down the back straight away. He's going to make that hard left to the infield. Keep it green. Meanwhile, Weaver has caught your leader, Cody Robertson. Now he's going to look down to the bottom side. Now the back straight away, they're going to drag race to three. We were on the bottom. Robinson through the middle, gonna push up. He might have a tight race car right now. Robinson leading that lap. He's gonna try to pull it down in front of Weaver. Looks like Zach Dobbs gonna pull up to the pit side, but the battle's still up here for this lead. Cody Robertson continuing to lead it. We've got four cars remaining. Three cars going to the show. Here comes Weaver. Weaver thought he was going to have it. So he'll work to the bottom. Robinson to the top. Weaver thought about sliding the nose again. Wasn't enough room. Weaver got that bottom side working. He's going to cut across the nose. Nope. It looked like he was aiming for it. Maybe he still heard Robinson out there. We've got two laps to go. Weaver's going to take the lead. Weaver's going to pull away as he's getting off the exits really good. Robertson's got a slight push in that race car. So Weaver's coming to the white flag. Barring nothing happens to Destiny Brooks, she'll be locked in as well. Out of turn number four, it's going to be Randy Weaver picking up your heat race win. Cody Robertson second, Destiny Brooks third. Again, Randy Weaver picking up your heat race win. Cody Robertson, your points later second. And Destiny Brooks will round out your third and final transfer spot. One more heat race remains. No, excuse me, two more. Heat race number five on the pole out of Prattsville, Arkansas in the 83. That's going to be Jimmy via the third. That's outside the 87 of Joe Williams out of Moralton, Arkansas. Roll number two in the 95. That's going to be Ricky Wrinkle out of Star City, Arkansas. That's outside 39C of Josh Jackson out of Moralton, Arkansas. Roll number three in the 26 Junior out of Little Rock, Arkansas. That's going to be Hayden Lynn. As outside the 17F out of Bryan, Arkansas. That's going to be Casey Finley. And your fourth and final roll will be the 88 of Barry Jones out of Plummerville. As outside the 23 of Junior Turner out of Star City, Arkansas. Caution light is down. We are going green this time by. Three more drivers will be locked into the show after this tonight. As the caution light's going to get thrown back on, as it's going to be a no go this time. It's all eight are out there. So, 
10 more laps, three more cars. We got one more heat race after this. I cannot wait till tomorrow night. This is gonna be fun to watch. So Via and Wrinkle gonna bring us, or excuse me, Via and Williams gonna bring us to the line and we're underway. Good start for Williams. Here comes Jackson to the outside. He's got a good run as well. We got contact back there in the back. Here comes Jackson. Jackson to the top. He'll move up in that second spot. Finley trying to make ground around the bottom. Villa's going to slip up. We've got it. Action behind Villa. Between Finley and Wrinkle. Finley looks to the bottom of Villa. Oh, Via sliding around, almost getting loose right there in front of Wrinkle. Wrinkle with a good run off in the corner. Big pop up. We got trouble in the back straight away. Via liked to turn it hard in the corner. <clears throat> turned it hard right back on the wall. As he saved it from being a lot worse than it could have been. That thing was about to make a hard ride. He got it under control there. But Joe Williams is leading the race. Josh Jackson second, and Casey Finley in your third and final transfer spot. <clears throat> is they're going to work to get the lineup set? Again, Joe Williams is your leader. Then Josh Jackson, then Casey Finley, Ricky Wrinkle, then Hayden Lynn, Junior Turner, Barry Jones, Joe. All right, we're back underway. Sorry. Here comes Jackson. Here comes Finley. They're about to. Whoa! We got a four on the back straightaway. We got a battle for the lead. Finley. Finley with the edge advantage out of four. Give it to him. <clears throat> Casey Finley to the lead. Here comes Josh Jackson up to that second spot. They're trying to move Williams out of the way because here comes that 26 junior Hayden Lynn in the battle. We got a slow car on the three and four. I think he should be able to make it off. Here comes Lynn down to the bottom on Jackson. They almost made contact on the X of the two. That top three separating themselves away from Williams. But Jackson and Lynn, they can make contact here. Williams will be right back in the mix of things. Now Lynn's starting to work underneath the bottom side of Jackson. He's trying to secure that second spot. Push the nose. He's, he might push up Jackson. They're making contact down the back straight away. If they knew how big of a lead they had, they wouldn't be racing like this because they are easily in the show if nothing happens. Williams off pace. He's going to take it to the pits. Tough break for Joe Williams as he led it early. We are now down to two laps remaining. Junior Turner, Barry Jones outside looking in, as well as Just those two on the outside looking in. As Casey Finley off to a Sunday drive is going to win the heat race. 
Hayden Lynn second, Josh Jackson third. Coming home fourth, be Junior Turner fifth, Barry Jones. But your top three going to the show tomorrow, Casey Finley, Hayden Lynn, and Josh Jackson. One more heat race remain in the Arkansas Factor Stop Showdown. Night number one prelim. On the pole in the 737 is going to be Trevor Ford out of Mountain View. Is outside the 28 of Logan Johnson out of Mableville, Arkansas. Row number two in the 42, that's going to be TJ Pulley out of Vandell, Arkansas. Is outside the 99W, Edmund Wells out of Moralton. Row number three in the 14M, Chuck McGinney out of Enola, Arkansas. Is outside the man that's been on fire. That's going to be the 47X of Kevin Atkinson out of Bologna. Row number four, the 05 of Misty Gerard out of Walnut Ridge, Arkansas. Hey, is Kevin Atkinson's time still hold up? Qualifying? Okay. Kevin Atkinson was your fast time award winner. He'll take home $500 thanks to Splash Car Wash of Mountain View. So if you need your car wash and you're in Mountain View this weekend, before you make your way back down to the Speedway tomorrow, stop by and give that car a car wash. It's Splash Car Wash. So we'll get the 33 or 23 of Junior Turner pushed off. The caution lights are out. We're going green out of turn four. <clears throat> Trevor Ford, normally in the five. Gonna run the 737 here tonight. Logan Johnson is outside. TJ Pulley and Edmund Wells roll two. The one to watch in that 47X, it's gonna be Kevin Atkinson. He'll be starting deep in this one. Let's see what he's got. We got trouble on the front straightaway because that start is a no-go. Logan Johnson got a little bit impatient. We'll re-rack them and re-stack them and send them again out of turn four. Almost fired too soon again. Let's see if it stands. It's good. Logan Johnson's going to lead them off in the one. Here comes Evan Wells. Here comes Kevin Atkins through the middle. He's going to make contact with TJ Pulley. That lost all of his momentum. Evan Wells to the outside of Trevor Ford. Here comes Atkinson. Got it reeled up again. Logan Johnson still leads. It's not too big a lead because here comes Evan Wells. Here comes Atkinson. Wells to the bottom of the racetrack. One slip up of Johnson. Evan Wells and Atkinson's going to be there. This was one stacked heat race of some of the best factory stock racers in the state of Arkansas right here at one place. Atkinson now looking around. Evan Wells, not there. He's going to drag it off the corner and try to separate himself. Now Logan Johnson stubs his nose off of, or toe off a of two. That's going to allow Edmund to get back to him. He better not stump his toe again. Because if he stumps it, it's going to be over. Evan Wells will take it away from him. Logan Johnson's going to try to adjust his line. Here comes Atkinson. Atkinson's going to get a run on the bottom of Edmund Wells. Atkinson may just do a two for one. Atkinson's going to get a two for one. They're about to go three wide. Wells to the outside. Johnson in the middle. <coughs> Atkinson's going to come out of there with it. He's going to slide the nose of Johnson was not clear they're about to work for the lap car 
Now they're gonna shuffle Johnson back to that third spot. Because Evan Wells is now gonna get around him. Atkinson and Wells to the top. Lap car's gonna stay down low. That third spot's about to get under pressure by TJ Pulley. TJ Pulley's about to come into the mix. He's about to reel in Johnson for that third and final spot. Meanwhile, Edmund Wells looked at the outside of Atkinson. We've got a battle for that lead. We're about to have a battle for that last transfer spot. Oh, Lord, here we go again. Action all over the place. <coughs> White flag in the air. One more time to settle it. Does TJ pulling out enough to reel in Johnson for that final spot? Will Edmund Wells sling a slider on Atkinson for the win? Wells is going to stay in line. He knows what it's worth. Johnson's going to get it off the corner, and he's going to get that final <clears throat> transfer spot away from TJ Bully. So, Kevin Atkinson with your heat race win. Evan Wells second. And Logan Johnson picking up that third and final ticket into tomorrow night's event. Oh, man. Uh. Woo. What an exciting set of heat race action we had there tonight. Well, you can come on back here tomorrow night, and those B-Mains will be just as fun as those heat races. All right, we're going to move into our feature action for your hobby stock division. On the pole in the 24th, it's going to be Matthew Green. He is outside the 11th, Hunter Everett. Row 2, the 6th of Jason Goodman. To his outside, the 22 of Adam Ma or Cody Maple. Chad Harrison, row three. To his outside, the 56 of Cody Cornett. Row number four of Mason Morrow. To his outside, the 117 of Brody Smith. Row five, the 02D of Emily Gay. To his outside, her outside, the 02 of Jeremy Gay. Row six, the 45 of Joseph Jackson. To his outside, the 12 of Madison Gilmore. And in row number seven, it'll be Quincy Brooks and Terry Brooks. And we're underway. Hunter Everett with the advantage off the back straight away. Here comes Cody Maple. Maple giving a shot to the back of Matthew Green. Green hangs on to it, but he's going to lose that spot. There are three wide back there for that fourth spot, fourth and fifth spot between Goodman, Cornette, and Harris. Oh, Cornette like to turn Goodman off of turn four in front of the field. He'll hang on to it. Meanwhile, Hunter Everett is pulling away. Good Hunter Everett pick up his first win at the Basel Speedway here tonight. He's now out to a 1.1 second advantage over Cody Maple. Chad Harris going to throw a slider in on Cody Cornett. Not quite going to clear it. He'll have to settle back in the line. That's back there for that fifth spot. Matthew Green's going to shove the nose up. That's going to allow Jason Goodman to possibly get a run on him. I know Matthew Green's been really close to picking up a win here. He's had some bad luck. Right now, running third. 
not where he wants to be. He's had a really good car tonight. Hunter Everett, though. He's been looking good. We got contact front straight away. Oh, my. Mason Morrow made contact with Quincy Brooks back there. More bad luck for Mason Morrow. Looks like they're gonna hook up <clears throat> to the 17M of Mason Morrow. It's his night, it's gonna be done. So he made hard contact. <sighs> Man. Looks like a lot of fluid coming out of that race car. Busted radiator looks like. So they'll have to work their way through all that. <clears throat> Get it good dry it out for the racers. <clears throat> That's a bad spot right there. As it was friendly fire with Quincy Brooks. As that's all I think part of their race team family. And we want to thank y'all for coming out here tonight, supporting the Batesville Motor Speedway. Spending your hard-earned money here tonight. Hope you had a great time. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night. <clears throat> also, don't forget, we'll be off next Saturday. Then we'll come back for the September 23rd <clears throat> final points night. And then, uh, let's see, we'll be here September 28th, 29th, and September 28th, 29th, and 30th for the 28th Daniel Show and Field Header Mid America IMCA Stock Car Championship. And then we'll close the season out October 12th, 13th, and 14th. For the seventh annual race for Hope 71. <clears throat> well, we are going to have to stop the field on the back straightaway. It looks like it may be fuel. They're going to have to burn that fuel off. So. So they're trying to get the field to stop on the back straight away. So if you've never seen this before, you may want to get your camera out. It's going to be a quick blaze. Sometimes it kind of goes invincible. And sometimes it will sit there and burn. So... While we have a little bit of a time, if the concession stand is still open, you can go in there and get you a bite to eat, something to drink, as well as get that Arkansas Factory Stock Showdown t-shirt down at the souvenir booth.
Well, this will be the time to take a quick break, go to the bathroom if you need to. And we'll let this burn off and we'll get back to racing action here shortly. <laughs> 